Hi everyone. Now I'm going to explain on the design details in around the N-type hydraulic flow plater. Okay, imagine the water comes from the coagulation process and the water will then enter the flocculation tank from this side of the tank and it then travels in the tank from one channel to another until it goes out from this side of the tank to go to the sedimentation process. So the speed for the water to travel in the tank should be between 10 to 30 centimeters per second. I also would like to point out that the distance between buffer to another buffer should be at least 45 centimeters. What about the depth of the tank? It is recommended for the round the end type hydraulic flocculator to have a depth of the tank to be at least one meter. The time for the water to travel inside the tank should be between 20 to 30 minutes. I also would like to say that the distance between end of buffer to the wall, okay, this distance, should be 1.5 distance between buffers. So how many hydraulic flocculator we need in a water, water treatment plant? Should we have only one hydraulic flocculator? The answer is no. We need at least two hydraulic flocculators. Why is that? Can you guys think the reason for that? So that's all the video for now, thank you very much and Assalamualaikum from Muzaffar Zainal Abidin.